So I just got finished watching the official unveiling of the Tesla Model 3, which I've been waiting for a long time to see, and it finally happened. I watched the live stream through Tesla's website, and uh, Elon came out, and you know what? He started things off right. Everyone's here to see this new sexy electric car made for the masses, but Elon first pointed out the reason for making electric cars in the first place, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, he started with presentations about the whole reason behind Tesla is to basically accelerate the transition to sustainable energy worldwide. An absolutely admirable goal. And uh, then he moved on to the more uh, grim news showing us that we now have record highs of CO2 emissions that are reaching 403.5 parts per million in our atmosphere and that is of March 2016. Um, that's not a good thing, if you're wondering. Along with this comes a 2.3 degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature planet-wide uh, in average since 1900. Again, not a good thing. May not sound like a huge difference in and of itself, uh, but this can actually vary to a 20 degree Fahrenheit difference uh, in extreme temperate regions. And uh, the most notable thing, I think something that people forget about, even if you're not able to get entirely on board with the whole climate change debate, I feel like we can still all agree that what comes out of tailpipe emissions is not good for us to breathe. And so Elon closes it out with uh, another grim uh, statistic, 53,000 deaths annually being attributed to transportation emissions. And this is something that I don't hear talked about a lot in conjunction with electric vehicles. We're really immediately solving an air pollution problem. The emissions, the particle pollution that we get out of our tailpipes from internal combustion engines is really an unhealthy side effect of gasoline-powered vehicles and something that's a little more tangible maybe for people to get on board with uh, to support the movement towards electrification of the traditional vehicle. After that, Elon moved into explaining his master plan, which we've actually understood for quite some time now, and he's even talked about before, but he had a nice little visualization going on explaining how things started with the Roadster, uh, expensive uh, but low-volume car to get his company off the ground, and then things moved to the Model S, satisfying that sedan market while still being a sporty car to drive, and then the third vehicle in the lineup, being the recent Model X, uh, which moved up to an SUV kind of crossover style, eventually culminating in the ultimate goal and that all these three previous vehicles have led up to and financed, basically, the consumer version Model 3 available for the masses. So before unveiling the car itself, Mr. Musk went over some of the specs just to tease the car a little bit before we finally got to see it. He assured us that even the base version of the Model 3 will be able to achieve 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds. He also assured us that there will be a minimum range of 215 miles. He then went on to tell us that the Model 3 will seat 5 adults comfortably and explained that the extra legroom provided in the Model 3 is actually a result of moving the front seats just a little further forward in the car. Since there's no internal combustion engine in the front part of the vehicle, this way the two front seats move a little more forward, giving extra legroom to the passengers in the second row. The Model 3 will still have both front and rear trunks, so plenty of storage space. Something really cool that Mr. Musk also mentioned was that supercharging will come standard in the Model 3. Tesla has been consistently expanding its supercharging network, uh, not just across the country, but really worldwide. And these superchargers work on all forms of currents and amperage, so it really turns a Tesla into a car without borders. Next, we got to hear a little bit more about the Gigafactory, uh, which Elon referred to as, quote, a vital element. And he explained that this Gigafactory, when it's completed, will produce more lithium-ion batteries than all production worldwide. And to quote Mr. Musk again, he says he feels, quote, fairly confident that 
the Model 3 will be delivered by next year, which is really exciting. A lot of people have been pointing out that Tesla has a bad history with delivering later than they say. So to hear Elon say himself that he believes the car will be ready for delivery by the end of 2017 is reassuring. We'll see if it actually happens. He also reaffirmed that the price is in fact $35,000, and that's before federal tax incentives, which knock an additional $7,500 off. So when you take that into account, we really are talking about an affordable car for most people. And then finally, the moment we were all waiting for, after a little teaser showing a visualization of the Model 3, we actually get to see the vehicle itself drive out. We actually see three different colors, not the most surprising reveal in terms of style. It's very consistent with the previous Tesla models before it. But I can see evidence of exactly what Elon talked about. Uh, the front seats are moved forward just a little bit. So the front of the car is a little stunted compared to the Model S, but still a very sleek, attractive car, surely capable of a sporty performance and I'm sure we'll get more details on the features of the car uh, after this unveiling in the coming months as we head towards actual production of the Model 3. So overall, I thought the presentation was very successful. Elon did a good job of conveying the message. He has a tendency sometimes to uh, kind of stutter and have trouble speaking, but he was very clear and concise in this presentation. And to compare it with the first video I did on this channel, uh, which started with the unveiling of the Chevy Bolt, a direct competitor to the Model 3. I found Tesla's reveal to be much more interesting. Uh, the Chevy presentation was very straightforward and they really just talked about the car, but I appreciated that Elon talked about the reasons for the car and the environmental reasons and the entire purpose behind electric cars in the first place. Plus, the Model 3 is just an amazing looking vehicle. Um, although we will get to see the Chevy Bolt first, so Chevy will be beating Tesla to production, but still, he confirmed at the end of the event that they had over 100,000 reservations already for the Model 3, and that's just in the past 24 hours leading up to the unveiling. So very exciting prospects for the Model 3, even though it won't be ready until at the earliest, probably the end of 2017. If you enjoy the information you're getting through this channel, or are just interested in electric vehicles in general, please subscribe. Also, between videos, you can get a lot of information that I post on the EV Everything Facebook page. Check the description box below for that link, and I'll see you in the next video soon.